Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your VBro from Tech Trick Team and so today I'll be showing you how you can fix your PUBG Mobile 0.13.0 which is the latest version to stop lagging. I know there are many of you who are experiencing this problem. Many of my subscribers have let me know that my game is lagging than before, the game is running choppy, etc, etc. And so this is the video for them. And it's really safe guys, don't worry you won't be banned for this I just don't know why people say that using some of the softwares will ban their system or ban their account. So keeping all this aside, and I will assure you this is a really safe uh, process. If you just follow me, uh, follow me step by step, uh, you'll be just ending up really enjoying this game. You won't be banned for it. So the first and foremost app, um, like my previous videos, you might know, I use LSpeed a lot. Uh, you might be thinking there are many applications like Performance Tweaker, etc, etc, like other YouTubers have said. They work fine as well, even Outspeed works fine as well. I tried both, but the difference is not nothing, nothing different. If you use Performance Tweaker, you will get the same performance. If you get Outspeed and use the performance uh, profile, you'll get the same performance out of your system. And yeah guys, the lag of this game also depends upon your system, but if you believe that before your game was running fine and after the update it's been laggy so this video is rightly for you and also if you want to increase the overall performance of the game this video works as well so the, this is the first application the L speed uh, you have to just like my previous videos you have to go ahead and open it up and set your performance profile to performance go to profiles and make sure you are on performance and the second thing is that once you're set to performance go to your native settings and go to auto run and allow Outspeed to run on your startup that's the foremost thing you need to do and after that i use this tool this is a very big great tool you know it's because of this tool that i am able to play the game at awesome 60 frames per second don't worry just go ahead to play store and just search for GFX tool. This is the application guys and I'm really sorry about my background noise. People are shouting. I don't know if they're dying or not but I just don't care. So you can see here it's the GFX tool. It's the one with the white background. You might think uh, these are the, the GFX tool plus this paid version 65Ps and stuff like that. Just do not use them. Trust me guys this is the best version that is available. It is the developer's name is T S O M L. I don't know how to spell that, but once you are done installing, uh, downloading, install that up, and just these are the settings that I use. So for you, it might be different depending upon your system. I use this uh, 1600 and 900 as my resolution. You can just lower this thing up depending upon your system. If you have a low-end PC. You can use the way up to like 916 to 540. And for graphics, I'm using smooth. And do not use so smooth, guys. If you want to use so smooth, use it up on your own risk. Because some people said that using so smooth, they experienced a um, ban of their account. So you can check it out in your guest account. But yeah, it does uh, increase your performance of the PC like game a lot. And FPS, you know, 60, we love it, 60. Anti-aliasing, disable it, styles. I use the colorful shadows, I don't want shadows. Rendering quality, yeah, you should keep it too low for better performance. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I just accept. Okay, so just select, shit. And now just after you're done selecting your, um, after selecting all the settings, hit accept and just run the game and that's pretty much it guys this are the settings that i use and now once i'm inside the game i'll be showing you my in-game settings so stay tuned for that okay so now you are inside the game and you can see the game is running really well you might see some lag or stuff like that but that's only because of my screen recording app and yeah the people did say that they experienced lag in the lobby like when you were just rotating your player the player is rotating in a choppy way. That got fixed once I started using GFX tool. So that's a very big um, tip. Use this GFX tool with those all settings and you'll be getting awesome performance. 
I also go to settings and go to graphics. I use smooth and extreme, colorful, disabled, and normal, and enable. That's it. These are all the settings that I use for playing and it just runs really, really great, you guys. Trust me, if you follow my steps and do all these things, you will be getting better performance than you what you had after this update. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you got any more queries, feel free to ask and trust me guys, this won't let you ban your account or something like that. You won't get any ban. I don't take any action or I don't take any risk about using other apps uh, for the graphics controlling tool. I've used GFX tool and it just works great for me. And that's pretty much it guys. Hope this video worked for you. Do like, do subscribe, do comment on this video and just share with your friends and if you got any queries if you got any tips do let me know this is abd signing out bye bye